Hello YouTube, it's me again. And as you can see, I have in my pink extensions. So I have pink highlights throughout my hair. I made about six of them. I have in three now. And this is not the same hair I was wearing before. Before I was wearing a lace front wig and it was about time to wash it and deep condition it and whatnot. So um, as I was washing the wig and washing my hair, in deep condition of my hair, my best friend called me about 3 a.m. last night and was like, do you want to go to Denny's? So I was like, okay. So I had to, I had this wig, so I just put this on real quick. And I think I ended up wearing it for a week. I'm kind of digging the bangs. Goes with the whole pink streak, edgy kind of look. But, um, yeah, the extensions came in strips like this. And I just cut them into smaller strips and glued the clips to them. And the clips look like this and they just snap open and close like that so you just kind of make a part stick the comb in snap it shut and then bring your hair back down over it and well that one isn't really well but you gotta make sure you have enough hair over top of it to actually cover where it is because you don't want your track showing where the extension is clipped in so yeah I have about uh, six of them so right now with that one that I just put in one two three I have four in now so I'll probably leave it like that okay so let's get to the contouring I was surprised at how simple contouring was I have read about it and saw a couple of videos on it and it looks a lot harder than it is it really does so, what I'm going to use for the contouring is my um, Coastal Scents Silk Foundation in Espresso. So basically, you can use, as you can see, it's a couple shades darker than my skin. So any found powder, I would say powder foundation, that is at least, this is a good five or six shades darker. So going to use that and I'm going to use my contour blush brush I got this one from Ulta it was twelve dollars um, and there buy one get one free well not just the brushes but any Ulta item I bought this brush and I got the blush for free so I'm just going to shake this up to get some on the top and the contour your cheeks what you're doing pretty much is you want to define your cheekbones so you're just going to dip a little bit of the foundation on your brush you don't need a lot because you'd rather add more than have too much you're going to make a fishy face and then right underneath your cheekbone is where you're going to put the foundation so what is right hmm And you want to start right here and come back. And then also do a little bit on your temples. And you don't want to go down too far because I don't care how defined your cheekbones are, you don't have a, a, a defined cheekbone shadow all the way down by your mouth. So you're going to stop right about here. And it's a real simple way to get a sculpted look. And, um, what was I going to say? Damn, my memory is horrible. What was I about to say? I don't know. It's a real simple way to get a sculpted look. You want to make sure you blend it really good, too, because you don't want to have just a line of color down your face. Okay, so have that make sure it's blended and you want to add your blush so let me just clean my brush off so I'm using Ulta the blush that I actually got for free with my brush in sandalwood Ulta cheek color so then you can smile and put it on the apples
also I like the highlighter too and usually I just put the highlighter right on top of the blush on your apples and that just brings a shimmer and it draws the light up here draws the attention up here so it makes your little definition look a little deeper so just this comp just to compare it this is the cheek with contouring and this is the cheek without contouring you can see the difference So define cheekbones, not define cheekbones. Okay, for your nose, what I have used is a little short eyeshadow brush. Wow, that is wet. Ugh, that you get from L'Oreal Hip. Let me get another one. I have a hundred of them. Short eyeshadow brush from L'Oreal Hip. Again, you want to use a little bit because you can always add more, but you cannot take it away. You're going to start where your eyebrows are and just draw a line down your nose, right down the middle. Obviously, it's very hard for me to draw a straight line. <laughs> And then you're going to blend it down. And basically, you're just creating a shadow where there is one. And you want to make sure you don't put too much, like I just did, because then it looks like your nose is dirty. So I'm just going to wipe it away a little bit with my baby wipe. blend it down so the number one thing you want to make sure is things are well blended because if not then you just look dirty we don't want to look dirty that's not cute at all not a good look don't draw that line blend it out and you can always I mean if you want it to be really really defined just use just slightly a darker um, either contour powder or foundation like I'm using. They do sell contouring powders. I know Coastal Scents has a contour and blush palette. It has a highlight, a couple, I think two blush colors and a highlight. Two highlight colors. But I'm just stubborn and just like to do things a difficult way and decided to just get my own foundation and try to mix it up myself. Okay, so then add a little bit of highlight and again I'm using my Avon highlighting illuminating powder but you can kind of use any highlighting powder that's shimmery that kind of looks like that and just go right down the middle because that's where you want to draw the light, the light right down the middle and that's it I know some professionals do all here and here I don't know how to do that this is pretty much just the quick and dirty way to do it and um, that's the pretty much the basics. So that's it. It's really simple. It's a lot harder than a. It's a lot, a lot easier than it looks. It looks a lot harder than what it is. And that's pretty much how you contour. So again, here's the cheek, and then my nose is also contoured. So any questions, comments, if you want to subscribe? Feel free. Um, this YouTube thing is kind of fun, so I think I'll be making a lot more videos. So anybody wants anything in particular, feel free to ask.